Hey designers! Welcome back to another tutorial. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm bringing you a futuristic web design concept based on artificial intelligence and robotics. In this video, I'll walk you through designing a next-gen interface for a fictional robotics company called NeoMind. I'll be using Figma for the design and Spline to animate a robot that actually follows and interacts with the cursor. Don't worry, it's not too complicated. I'll show you step by step how to build it from scratch. So let's get into the video. As usual, I've already added some images, icons, and a logo, along with text styles, color styles, and even some glass effects to speed up the design process. Don't worry. I'll show you these styles one by one, so you can note them down and try it out yourself. While you're checking out the styles, let me quickly talk about the main robot image. It's just a placeholder for now. We'll add the full animation later using Spline, which is a platform for motion animations. Then we'll link that animation to our design using one of Figma's newest features, Figma Sites. Don't worry guys, Spline is also super beginner friendly, just like Figma. It has a 3D workspace, but the interface feels very similar, so you'll get used to it quickly. So, those are all the styles I've already added. I hope you guys noted them down while I was talking about Spline. First things first, I added a frame and rename it as Home. Then, I fill it using the gradient style we already created earlier. And now I'm going to add a grid system to this frame. I'll use 12 columns with a 24 pixel gutter and an 80 pixel margin on both sides. I'll start designing from the navigation bar, so I'm dragging and dropping the logo and menu icon into the frame. Next, I'll adjust the logo and menu icon for proper alignment, and then I'll add the navigation links to complete the navigation bar. For the menu icon, I'm adding the necessary padding and applying the right colors to match the overall style. All right, now I'll add the navigation links. Home, About, Products and Contact. So we've just completed the navigation bar and now we can add the main heading along with the explore products button right below it. I'll go ahead and add some padding and colors and make a few styling adjustments to the button to match the overall design.
Now I'm going to add the main area of the hero section, where the robot will interact with the cursor. I'll start by creating the base shape using the rectangle tool. Here, I'm adding two shapes and combining them using the Union Selection option from the menu. Then, I'll add some border radius to give it a smoother and more modern look. By the way, don't forget to rename your layers. It'll help you stay organized, especially as the design gets more complex. Now we can add the main image of the robot. But remember, this is just a placeholder for now. Later, we'll replace it with an interactive robot using Spline and connect it to our design exactly like this image. I'll add a background text that says AI powered just to enhance the overall look and give it a more futuristic feel. I'm also adding some star icons to the background to enhance the futuristic vibe and make the design more visually interesting. In the same section, we'll add a video container card to showcase a product demo or intro video. I'll adjust the padding and border radius of the video card and add a text at the bottom right that says, revolutionizing the future with intelligent robotics. Then I'll add a play button with a sleek glass effect as the background. Now let's add the play button. I'll drag and drop the icon near the frame, then move it into a new frame. After that, I'll add some colors, adjust the padding and apply a glass effect to the background. All right, perfect. Now let's add the name and a short description of the main robot in the hero area. 
I'll style it to make it look clean, elegant, and visually appealing. I've added the robot's name as Eva X and a short description, an emotionally intelligent assistant designed to interact, support, and grow with its users. By the way, these are just sample contents. Feel free to use your own or stick with mine. Also, this robot image was downloaded from Spline, so full credit goes to the original creator. I'll show you the actual spline file later on when we reach that part, and also I will mention the link of the file in the description. All right, guys, our design part is now complete, but we still have a few layers to rename. I'll use Figma's Rename Layers feature to quickly clean that up and keep everything organized. You can simply use that option to keep everything organized. All you need to do is click on the frame, choose the Rename Layers option from the menu, and Figma will automatically rename all the layers with suitable names for you. We have a few more things to fine-tune. I'll quickly go ahead and take care of those. All right, now we can move on to the next part, copying this design into Figma Sites. Before that, let's open Figma Sites. Go to the Home tab, click on the Sites tab, and create a new site project from there. Here. You can simply select the blank project option to start building your website. After that, you'll see a window like this. In this window, I'll go ahead and delete the mobile view since we only designed the desktop version. Now we can copy our design and simply replace it with the blank desktop frame provided in Figma Sites window. As you can see, the window automatically resizes to match the width of our new frame. No extra setup needed. Figma Sites lets you turn your designs into functional websites instantly. No coding needed. It's perfect for showcasing your projects, prototypes, or even building real web pages from your Figma designs. To embed our interactive spline robot, we simply insert an embed area from the toolbar. This allows us to paste the spline embed link directly into the design, bringing 3D interaction to life right inside our Figma website. Now let's resize the embed area to match the exact dimensions of our design. You can manually adjust the width and height by dragging the corners or using the properties panel. This ensures the 3D robot fits perfectly within the layout. Once the embed area is resized properly, we can now replace the static robot image Simply copy the embed area and paste it in the same position. This will bring our design to life with the interactive 3D robot from Spline. This is the place where we paste the Spline public URL. Once added, it will load the interactive 3D robot right inside our Figma site preview. So now, let's get into the exciting part. Bringing in an animated, interactive robot directly from Spline. Simply search for Spline on Google and you'll find the official website right away. I'll also drop the link in the description for easy access. Click on the link and you'll be taken to the Spline website, a browser-based 3D design tool that lets you create, animate, and interact with MIDI elements in real time. The interface is intuitive and powerful, making it easy to design stunning 3D experiences. 
And just like Figma, you can also download the Spline desktop application for Windows and Mac. However, keep in mind that even the desktop app requires an internet connection to work. From the Resources tab on the Spline website, you can download the desktop application by clicking the Download button. Once downloaded, you can simply install it just like any other application on your computer. It's available for both Windows and Mac. I'm using the desktop application, so I'll open it up now and show you step by step how to create and export the interactive robot for our design. The interface here is quite similar to Figma. You can click on the Community tab to explore creations by others. If you go to the Home tab, you'll find a Create button to start a new file from scratch. But to save time, instead of building everything from zero, I'll search for a ready-made animated robot from the community and show you how to use that. You can simply search for Robot like this in the Community tab. Once you find a design you like, just click to open the file. I'll also include the link to this specific file in the video description so you can easily access and use it in your own project. So I'll be using this robot design for the demo and all the credits go to the original creator of this design. Massive thanks to them for sharing it with the community. Now click on the Remix button to make it your own. This allows you to edit and customize the 3D model however you like, just like duplicating a file in Figma I'll just hide the logo and adjust the camera to match our design. You can orbit around the PyD space like this. Before making any edits, let's preview the scene we're going to work on. So this is the 3D model we're going to edit. Once again, a big thanks to the original creator for sharing this with the community. I'll start by hiding the background logo using the Layers panel. Just locate the layer and toggle its visibility. Now. I'll hide the background color for now and make some adjustments to the camera states, the base state, and the state. Watch closely to see what I'm doing. Click on the camera, then under states, select the base state option and zoom out the product. Next, select the state option and zoom in the product. This will be the preview we want to use in our design. Let's play and watch this. Perfect. Now let's head over to the Exports panel and adjust the export settings. And remember, whenever you make changes, always click the Update Public URL button to save and apply them. I'll make a few changes now and then update the public URL to apply them. Done. The URL is now updated. We can simply copy it and paste it into Figma. Now select the embed area and under the URL tab in the right hand window, simply paste the URL we copied earlier. Now we can run the prototype and see how it's working. So this is our final preview and everything works perfectly. Just a heads up, if you want to remove the spline watermark at the bottom right corner, You'll need to upgrade to the paid version instead of using the free one. And that's it. We've successfully integrated an interactive 3D robot into our Figma website using Spline. This kind of animation can really make your design stand out. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for more UI UX design content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.